In order to understand the Bible, we must first receive the root of David, who came to this earth a second time and learn from him. In the Gospel of John, chapter 6, Jesus clearly taught, No one can come to me unless he is taught by God. It is written in the book of Micah, chapter 4, In the last days, what would God do for all people? It says He will teach us His ways. We need to learn these teachings from Him. We cannot enter the kingdom of heaven through a pastor, nor through a doctor of theology. God is the only one who can guide us and lead us there. We do not need to look for other ways. We only need to receive the second coming Christ, our Messiah, who will come to this earth again and will guide us only with His words. In Revelation chapter 3, verse 12, it is written, Him who overcomes, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will he leave it. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I will also write on him my new name. Doesn't I here refer to Jesus when we read Revelation chapter 1, verse 1? It says Jesus' new name will be written on him. So we must receive him who will appear a second time to this earth with a new name. But there are so many people in the world who claim to be the second coming Christ. How can we recognize him? Don't you think there is a way for us to recognize him? In American society, Every individual has an ID card. We too show our ID card to confirm our identity. Even to go to Jeju Island from Seoul, you cannot get on a plane unless your identification is confirmed. In the same way, don't you think there has to be a sure identification for the root of David who has come to this earth a second time? Let's take a look at Isaiah chapter 55, verse 3. Give ear and come to me. Hear me, that your soul may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, my faithful love promised to David. Here, it says an everlasting covenant is promised to David. Then let us see what is the everlasting covenant through the book of Hebrews, chapter 13. Chapter 13, verse 20 says, May the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep. Where and when did Jesus teach about the blood of the eternal covenant? Luke chapter 22, verse 7 says, Then came the day of unleavened bread, on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and make preparations for us to eat the Passover. Verse 19, And he took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper he took the cup, saying, The Passover wine was inside of the cup. This cup is, what is this cup? The new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. We can confirm that the eternal covenant from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20, and the covenant that was promised to David in Isaiah chapter 55 refers to the new covenant. Thank you very much.